Hi, I'm Erin Clark from WellPlated.com and today I have for you a one pan wonder. This is my skillet spicy ranch chicken. If you like Tex-Mex, if you like easy meals, you're gonna love this one. Now, I've done most of my prep already. I'm just finishing up here with my onion. So I'm gonna cut it into a fairly fine dice. That will help it cook evenly and make sure that you don't get any great big onion pieces when you're eating the final meal. So, have my stove turned to medium, and I am going to add some olive oil, keep the chicken from sticking. And here I have one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast that I've cut into bite-sized pieces. And one of the things that I love about this recipe is that it has a lot of flavor, and that comes from our spices and ingredients like the onion we just chopped. And then to that, we add all of our ranch-inspired spices. So, I have a whole tablespoon of garlic powder. This is delicious, but maybe not for a first date. Two teaspoons of onion powder, a teaspoon and a half of dill, one half teaspoons of paprika, kosher salt, always make sure that you're seasoning your food. And then last but not least, we have cayenne pepper. Okay, let's give this guy a stir. Make sure all the chicken gets nice and coated in these wonderful flavors. Okay, our chicken is nice and cooked on the outside, so now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. This is truly a dump it and go recipe. All right, here I have one green bell pepper and one red bell pepper that I have cut into a dice. All right, next I'm adding black beans. Wouldn't be a Southwest style meal without them. Now I have instant brown rice. We just have two more things to add. One of my pantry staples, these are fire roasted diced tomatoes. And last but not least, a cup of chicken stock. Now I'm gonna give this whole thing a stir. So as you can see, our liquid has come to a gentle boil. You're gonna let this simmer on the heat for five minutes, then turn off the heat, move it off the burner, and let it rest for five more while the rice finishes absorbing the liquid. Okay, let's talk toppings. You can really choose your own adventure here. I have my three favorites, which are cilantro, avocado, and sharp cheddar cheese. Okay, our chicken has been resting with the heat off for five minutes, which means it's time to eat. Oh, hello, you Tex-Mex beauty. So now I'm gonna pile on all the toppings that we have prepped, starting with the cheese. So I like to sprinkle this all over the top. If you have a family of serious cheese lovers, you can do some extra on the side. Now our cilantro. This just adds such a nice burst of freshness. And finally, our beautiful avocado. And that is it. Dinner is ready. You have your whole meal here in one pan. We have our proteins, our whole grain, and our veggies, one dynamite dish. 